Hi guys, this is me, Darren from the Variety Show on Cut. Today we're here doing some acrylic pours. Look, you're not going to be able to see me too good. And uh, I got, uh, let's see here, three crosses that we're going to try to attempt to uh, pour uh, that I cut out. Wood, everything, got the uh, holes in the back of them where you hang them up. But a lady ordered three of these from me. So I'm going to try to scoot this over here so you maybe can see it a bit better. Uh, and then try to do it without getting any paint on my table. I got a board down here covering it up. But she ordered one in uh, pink and purple, one in pink and light blue, and then one in red and blue. So... We're going to do the uh, pink and purple one first. I already got my paint mixed up here with some Floetrol. It's just acrylic paint. Floetrol, a little bit of water, and I add a little bit of silicone. To these mixtures. Just to kind of give it a, don't want to mix it too much couple swirls so I'm just gonna pour just a little bit onto the uh, cross kind of get it started here and start with the pink just kind of go around you don't like I said don't want to get a whole lot up in here because this is going to spread pretty good uh, and when there was a second one with some pink on it so I kind of go through do the same type of thing here all right so I got that I'm gonna set this off to the side oh one of them is going to have purple with it so Kind of give my silicone a couple of swirls there. Kind of go around. I can always add more to these if I don't get enough on them. Just kind of go through here and just kind of do the, basically the same thing that I've done with the pink. I may have to add some more pink to that one, maybe. We'll see here in a minute. And then we got the uh, one with the pink and light blue. I'm going to pour some light blue around it. I think I got plenty of pink on that one. But we're going to just swirl our light blue in here a little bit and bring some more down. Like I said, I can always add more if I need to. And then, we, of course, we got the one with the red and blue we're going to do over here at the end. Can I put my red paint down? Yeah, I'm sorry, you can't see that one. But when I go to move it around, everything... I will uh, show that how it turns out. Uh, this is actually the first type of art that I started. And then I discovered spray paint art and been doing spray paint art ever since. These come out really nice uh, if you do them right. So we're just going to kind of throw my blue in here. Make sure I got enough. And if I don't, like I said, I could always add more. Which I think I'm going to be good on that one. I'm just going to add a little bit more pink to this first one. Here. on this one here too as well okay so we're going to 
gonna see how these turn out now. Pretty much, I'm gonna try to hold this and keep it from getting on that one. We're just gonna kind of just start swirling around like that. Move it around, try to get it everywhere on the cross. And back down again. I'm not going to worry about the sides too much because I'm going to do a spray paint the sides and everything in black. It is okay to take your finger and do that if it doesn't cover. But as you can see, it's starting to sh take shape. Uh, starting to get some cool effects in it. I'm going to add just a touch more color into that one. Along the sides here, kind of fill up everything on the edge. Kind of fill up the edges, it's not getting anything on it. You know, we can start moving them around a little bit, kind of get that awesome, awesome flow on these. Okay, so we got that one. Be careful with this one. We're going to start twirling, twisting, and turning, and twirling. I'm trying to be careful and not get any of the other colors in these. Other ones that I got on here. This baby blue in here. And pretty much that's how that one's going to turn out. Set that down. Uh, my back's starting to hurt. <laughs> but um, I'm going to reach over and I'm going to be bending over the whole time. So now we got the one with the uh, red and blue. So we're going to start doing our thing with it. Trying to keep it from getting color onto the others.
put some more red into that one. Okay, and that is what that one looks like. Sorry, the there we go. Red and blue. I'm trying to keep it from color getting on the others. Now I'm going to take my gloves off. Carefully. If you ever try to do this, definitely wear gloves if you don't want paint all over your hands. So I'm pretty much done with the paints. I'm going to throw these away. And I should have threw these away before I took my gloves off. As I got paint on my hands. Wash it off real quick. And I'm just going to plug up my heat gun. If I could get the cord. Now this will... Using a heat gun, that will help with get cells in it, and it will bust any bubbles that's in the paint. You just uh, kind of go through here. Oh yeah, that's already looking way cooler now that I'm putting the heat to it. It's going to create cells. And bust any paint bubbles that's in it so we keep a smooth paint. Air bubbles, I should say. I don't know how well you can see the change that it's making on the uh, video. And try to put it over here so maybe you can see it because I won't be able to pick it up and show you after that. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish these others real quick, and that's gonna be call it pits on this video. These are turning out a little good. I think my customer will be happy with them. And she was happy with a much larger one than I've done for her earlier in the year. But I told you my show was all about variety, so this is just something else that I kind of do on the side besides collect. You know, my spray paint art, and then of course these acrylic pores. But uh, when these are finished drying and everything, on a future video, I will show you how they turned out. 
before I drop them off with my customer. Can't wait to see. I need a better setup for if I'm going to do more acrylic pours and film them. I definitely do need that. But just kind of show, show y'all, y'all get the gist of what I do on the side. So. And get this paint gun back down. And guys, we'll see y'all next time right here on the Variety Show Uncut. Didn't realize I was on here 16 minutes. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Everybody needs a little variety in their life. That's why you can come here. Peace out.